Let your loins be girdled. Let your loins be girdled about. So we read and it your, from, we from, from Luke, mm -hmm. from Luke 12, mm -hmm. 35. Mm -hmm. Right. Let your, right. Let your loins be girdled about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their land when we were returned from the wedding, that when we come it and knock it, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily, I say unto you that he will, shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. But ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when we think not. Then Peter said unto the Lord, speakest, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth, I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayed his coming, and shall begin to beat the man servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not away, and will cut, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he, knew, but he that knew not and did not commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. This is the word of God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Thank you, love. Thanks for the reading. Of the word. Okay. Thank you for the reading. Um, all right. Let's start it. Amen. Everybody's good. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're going to call the message BP. BP. If you were up in Brownlees or guides, you would know BP. What is BP? BP. BP means be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. The message is people, be prepared. Be dressed for the service and you keep your lamps burning as though you were waiting for your master to return from a wedding feast. Now is not the time to be dim. Now is not the time to be partial. Now is not the time to be lukewarm. No is not the time to say you have time. No is the time to keep your lamp burning, keep it oiled up. If you do not keep oil in your car, the car is going to eventually not function well. It's going to stare, going to get tight. Things are not going to be the way it's supposed to be. The Lord is calling for you to be ready, be prepared, keep your lamp burning. A little more oil in your lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning. Keep it burning. That's what the Lord is asking you to do. You have to stop dimming your light. Whenever the enemy see you, you have to see a burning fire, blaz blazing fire, like a wildfire inside of you. The Holy Ghost fire is on, on fleet inside of you, basically. Be ready for the return of your master. Then you will be ready to open the door and let, let him in the movement, and let him in the moment he arrives and knock. If you are prepared, if you are prepared, it says when he come and he knock on your door, it means the door of your heart. Whenever he comes, when he comes back physically to you, 
that you would not have to run to scramble and find things and put things in place. You won't have to be looking at everything to see what I didn't have, what I don't have, what I didn't do with this. I wasn't ready. I was in the middle of sin. I was doing something I shouldn't do. I know Jesus come. I don't have things together. It's urgent. I, I don't have time to repent. What should I do? You have to keep constant at this season. That's why things are getting worse. The more, the more tri tribulations you see and the trials, is because Jesus is getting closer. And as he gets closer, it's going to get worse. So the Lord is calling for you to be ready to open the door and let him in the moment he arrives. The moment, meaning that there is no time to make adjustment then. You have to be ready to function. You have to be ready for judgment. You have to be ready for what is before you. Because when it comes, you have to be prepared. Be prepared. Ready. The servant who are ready and waiting for his return will be rewarded. The servant, this is Jesus speaking. The servants who are ready and waiting for his return will be rewarded. If you have that oil in your lamp, your lifestyle, the word of God, prayer, everything line up. He's not calling for, protect, for perfection. He's calling for you to live in righteousness. He's calling for you to be able for when he comes, he's ready to say, let's go home, my child, without hesitation, because you are together. Many are not together. You want to be everywhere but in Christ. So it is pulling you back. And one force is operating stronger than the other. So it's pulling you in a place. The tide is pulling you into rough waters because you are not strong enough. That's why it's said, keep your lamp burning. Don't wait only when you come on the prayer line to get a new fire to come off only to go let the devil throw water on top of you. You have to take what you get and you have to build like you're building a house. You put brick upon brick and get stronger and stronger for when the Lord is coming back. Amen. Amen. And Thank he promised God. a reward to Amen. you. He promised you a reward. What is that reward? Everything God do is good. So you don't sit down and stress. I wonder if it's something not good. Anytime God uses the word reward, nobody can reward you like Jesus. Nobody. Amen. That's Only right. God Amen. Something Amen. Good. Something good. Be ready for the reward that God has for you because you're Amen. ready and waiting for his return to be rewarded. Don't get weary in doing good. Remember, we just spoke about that. Don't flick and falter and keep looking back in those dark places. They have nothing in behind for you. There is nothing in the world that you need. There is nothing that you have you are taking with you when Jesus comes. Amen. Heaven and earth will pass Amen. away. Amen. There will be a new earth. There is nothing that you need you are going to take with you. So it's stop concentrating right. on the things and thinking it's that is a reward. It yes. is not a reward. These things are just a necessity to live on this earth. Praise but God. they are not the reward that God has for you. The That's reward right. that God is going to give you is going to be permanent. Praise God. It's Amen. not going to be the little reward that you don't know if going to rot, you're going to fall down, somebody going to teeth it, what's going to happen, and to protect it, a big gold chain, I wonder if I can go down with the road with it, somebody going to take it, I wonder if somebody going to break in my house, I wonder if you, the car, somebody going to steal my car, You, the rewards have nothing to do that people can take. When Jesus gave you something, nobody can take it from you. That reward Amen. is... That's permanent. right. Amen. 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 Permanent. Be ready, people. Be ready. Be ready. That's for the Holy Spirit is time to tell you guys be ready. Praise God. Be ready, says the Lord.
Narabasiki Yuru to sing and I will touch you, Nora. Rantata Kiramasiki, Ranabo Shea, Ukanabo Sokurunda Shanabata, Raka Yaramasiki, Yomoro Sek, Yorobondia, Rano Soku Yaramas Sangare, Ikarono Soko Yomosha. The Lord is saying, Be ready for I am coming soon. Be ready. Be ready. Yes. Be ready, my servants. I tell you the truth. He himself will sit them, put on an apron and serve them as they sit and eat. The Lord wants to serve you. The Lord wants to prepare a table before you. The Amen. Lord wants to feed you. The Lord wants to give you a glorious feast. The Lord wants to give you substance that you need, that the world cannot give. It is spiritual food. The Lord wants to give you a new thing. Sit and dine at the table with him in eternity. That is the gift that we need in the name of Jesus. He may come in the middle of the night, just before the dawn. But whenever he comes, he will reward his servants who is ready. The Lord said to be ready, be ready, yes. be ready, be ready when the trumpet shall sound. Rotarando seke rambo, rikayoromo sekandramusha, rokotu sandaramo shakaye, ikaramo seke yoromosha. Be ready, says the Lord, for I am coming soon. For I am on my way. I shall be coming soon. I'm seeing the clouds pass in my people. The Lord is on his way. Be ready for the kingdom of God is at hand. Be ready, Amen. says the Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Jesus, Jesus. Oh Help us, Lord. Whenever I come, I will watch you, says the Lord. Whenever I come, I will reward you. He said to get your spirit right. Get your spirit right. Get your spirit right. Get your spirit right. Get your spirit right, says the Lord. Get it right. Many of you, many of you, you are broken and you're operating in the flesh, says the Lord. He said, be ready. And get ready for I am on my way. Says yes. I am on my way. Understand this. If a homeowner knew exactly when a burglar is coming, yeah, he yeah. would not permit this house to be broken into. You yes. must you also must be ready all the time for the Son of Man will come when least expected. Amen. <laughs> Nobody Amen. has ever told you the thief called you on the phone and said, I am coming to steal at 11 p.m. tonight. Leave the door open. The Lord oh. shall come in when you least expect. That's a thief. He is warning you that I'm coming when you least expect it. Expect. And if you are not ready, I do not know on, need permission. For I own all things. I own all people. I own all nations. I own everything. And when I'm ready to come, to take back everything that I have created from the very foundation of the earth, that I shall do as I want. I shall do when I'm ready. And no one shall stop me because I'm coming back to claim my people. I am coming back to bring on a new heaven and a new earth. I am coming back to release my kingdom and break loose on my people from the bondage. Amen. 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 Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, I am coming like a thief in the night. In the night. Be ready. Be ready. Peter asked, Lord, is that illustration just for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, the Lord replied, a faithful, sensible servant is one to whom the master can give the responsibility of managing 
his household servants and feeding them. The Lord said, when you're faithful and sensible as a servant to him, he will give you the responsibilities that you never thought you can have. Many people want certain things right now. You know who you are. And you don't know why you smell it. You smell it. You see it. But you cannot touch it. Check how faithful you are to him. Check and see if you only desire him when you need something. Check and see if you're sensible enough to know that you need God in the morning, noontime, and evening, and not only when it's Amen. necessary for you. Amen. Amen. The Lord Amen. is saying that when yes. I can Amen. trust you, I can trust you, I will give you more things because I can trust you with little things. Then if, uh, if you love me, you would feed my sheep. Manage his other household servants and feed them. He's talking about the people that are coming into the kingdom of God. He is saying today that if you love me, remember I said that if you love me, then feed my sheep. The Lord is saying to you who are here that if you love him, to feed his sheep. Amen. Be a faithful servant. If the master returned and find that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. If the Lord find that when he left you and observe you in the process, that you stayed in righteousness, that you won souls of the kingdom, that you were not ashamed of him, that you let people see Christ in you, that you walk the walk and talk the talk, that you stood strong when people were falling apart around you, that you stood strong when things was not working for you. The Lord said, I have a reward for those. Amen. Amen. I tell you the truth. The master will put that servant in charge of all he owns. That thousand hills of cattle that he owns, he will say to you, I can trust you. You were prepared when I came. You didn't want to know when I was coming, but you were ready. The lamp was burning. You didn't put it on the bush. You light it and you keep it burning. You keep your oil. You keep it going. The Lord said, because I can trust you, I can make you the master of my kingdom. I can give you keys. The Lord wants his people to be prepared for the great reward. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. The Lord wants to promote and increase his people. Amen. Come on, sister. But that promotion and increase, Amen. it starts first with your spirit. I didn't think you get it. That promotion and increase Amen. that desire. Amen. Amen. It starts Amen. first yes. with your spirit. Yes, praise God. Remember, yes. God is spirit. God, and yes. everything oh, God do is spirited. Hallelujah. He will bless Thank you. you. People will see Amen. him in your yes. life as you get yes. certain things later. But yes. your spirit has to line up with his spirit yes. so he can bless Amen. you. Amen. 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 Change Amen. The way we do things. Amen. But what if the servant thinks my Amen. master won't be Amen. back for a while? And he began beating the other servants, partying and getting drunk. The master will return unannounced and unexpected, and he will cut the servants into pieces and banish him until with the um, banish him with the unfaithful. Many people are sitting back and they're thinking, "What if Jesus not coming today?" I hear since great grandmother Jesus coming. He's not coming. You have more time. I will live until I feel 90 and 100. I always tell you, God is a keeper and the holder of time. There's no time on him. 
Amen. And the big and you begin abusing. He said when you start to begin beating and abusing. The people you're supposed to treat, nurture, grow, to be a certain way that you start to destroy them instead of build them for God. Then you start to party and be drunk and smoking and acting the fool. Then God show up on you. What will you do then? Amen. This what will you do man. then? Amen. You're in the middle of a party, having a good time, then Jesus show up. But you were a Christian and you knew he was about to come. You were warned. Hmm? You're in the middle of doing things you're not supposed to do. And Papa Jesus show up unexpected and unannounced. What would you tell him? What is your excuse? I'm having a good time and I'm young and I was having fun. And I can't stop be I can't stop being the way I am. I don't know why I can't behave. Or because I have to feel good. Uh, because I was I was planning to change when I reached 30 years old. What are you, what are you gonna say when the time reach? You can't say nothing because by that time you would have been tossed into hell. Because your soul has already been judged. Your soul has already been given over to the devil. That's why you talk about banish him with the unfaithful. Banish hell. Banish. I banish you. There is not another chance to make a difference. The Lord gave me a message this weekend for the young woman. I put it up. I hope they listen to it. I put the message. Don't take it for granted. So many people keep saying I have time. And how come on, he gave me this message five minutes before I stop? Because he's saying something to us. And a servant who knows what the master wants, but isn't prepared and doesn't carry out those instructions will be severely punished. I will pause here for a minute. There are those who know what God expects of them. They hear Tuesday, they hear Thursday. They hear Tuesday, they hear Thursday. I talk to you, you talk to me. You go to church, you know what you're supposed to do. But still, you're not preparing yourself for the unexpected visit. You refuse to make a change. You refuse to repent and stay lined up. But the Lord is saying, time doesn't belong to you. That I hold the clock of time on your life. That's right. And he said, if you don't do what you need to do and follow his instruction, you will be severely punished. And that's a choice you will make. Be careful what you choose to do with the time that you have now. Don't run after only physical thing. You need to run after God. Stop breaking down every minute. Stop cracking down every minute. Stop losing yourself every minute. Stop it. Because in the midst of you losing yourself, God could just show up. Amen. Amen. In the one Amen. second, in the twinkle of an eye, that you lose yourself, you may think I always get an opportunity to go back and fix it and say I'm sorry and start all over. That might be your last moment of slipping and sliding because God could just show up and you're in trouble. Amen. 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 Amen in hatred and bitterness and I don't like this person and I don't like the person and I'm in confusion and I want to do this and I want to do that and I, that is going to cost your soul and your soul is not something to be played with hmm. you're filled with revenge bitter Betty filled with revenge I told you, the word of God said, revenge is mine, says the Lord. You feel the revenge. I will repay. You feel the revenge. Everybody you meet, you're never wrong. So you feel the revenge. You don't like correction. You don't like truth. You're filled with all kind of stuff. And Jesus show up. What are you going to tell him? You didn't know? How that's going to help you in judgment? 
the people of God need to get it together. We need to get it together. But someone who does not know and then does something wrong will be punished only lightly. You see what the Lord is saying? The ignorance, the ignorant ones, for the lack of knowledge, man shall perish. The ignorant ones without the knowledge, he's going to go easier because they don't know. But for you that know and refuse to do the right thing, you are the one that's going to be severely punished. This is a serious message. I hope you are taking it. Very when someone has been given much, much should be required. When them. someone is given much, much will be required in return. And when someone has been entrusted with much, even more is required. That's why I don't play with y'all. I don't play with y'all. I don't care if you don't like me Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If I see you heading for hell, I would pick my hand and me myself will pull you out and you could be mad as me as you want. I have a responsibility to watch over your soul because God sent you to me for a purpose. And Amen. I told you I am not going to Amen. hell for none of you. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Mm. I have to roll over my bed and see none of you in your face. So it's okay. I am going to tell you so if you don't want to know, don't call me. Hmm. Truth shall set me free. Because he said, when, must, when someone is given much, much should be required. Yes. Amen. You want position. You want this. You want to be evangelist. You want to be pastor. You want to be prophet. You want to be everything. But there's a responsibility that you have to be prepared for. That's why I named the message. You be prepared, people. Amen. Amen. Responsibility Amen. comes. Yes, yes. You cannot just guide people into hell because you want to tell them only what they want to hear or what makes them feel comfortable. When God deal with sin, it is not a comfortable thing to live in sin. It is not comfortable in sin. It is not comfortable looking out the sin. It is not comfortable telling anyone about the sin. But it is the right thing to do. Amen. Amen. When you are given much, much is required. And when someone has been entrusted, even more will be, be, be required. When you're called to lead, you're called to give advice, you're called to pray, you're called to deliver, you are called in purpose. When you are called to do things from God, you have to do it without fear. Fear amen. is going to cost amen, you. Amen. Do not do anything for God in fear. Don't care if people don't like you. Don't go around this fight with people, but you tell people the truth. That's right. Amen. 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 Yes. You tell them Amen. the truth. People know me well will tell you. When anything, we could, I would better again and laugh in the whole time. But when it comes to God and the seriousness of God, I will tell you. That's right. That's true. Amen. I will tell you. I don't care if you're puff fish like a puff fish. I don't care. Because I have a responsibility. Because if That's you should right. die at that moment, Amen. if you should die at that moment, yes. you will die with that issue. And when you die with that issue, there is no repentance. There is no coming back. There is no fixing it. So you have a responsibility when much is given unto you and is entrusted. Amen. 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 You have to change how you do things. Somebody get um, Mark 7, 6 for me. Mark 7, 6. I'm calling it twice. Mark 7, 6. Matthew 6, 1. Matthew 6, 1. Titus 1, 16. Titus 1, 16. Matthew 5. No, I'm lying. Scratch that. Scratch that. Somebody get Matthew 24. Scratch it. Matthew 24 is the first one. Matthew 24 from 42 to 43. Matthew 24, 42 to 43. Then get Luke 21, 36. Luke 21, 36. Then get 1 Corinthians 16, 13. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. 1 Thessalonians 5, 6. 1 Thessalonians 5, 6. Romans 13, 11, Romans 13, 11, and 1 Peter 4, 7, 1 Peter 4, 7. 
Now, the time is short. The time is short. The time is short. Now is the time and the hour to awake from your sleep. Now is the time and the hour to awake from your sleep. For now is our salvation. The yeah. salvation is near. Yeah. When we believe, the salvation is near. Now is the time and the hour to wake up from your slumber. For those that are asleep, it is time to wake up. Get some Lucazade. Get some B12. Get some spiritual B12 and Lucazade. And get some energy and stay awake and stay alert because the Lord is on his way and the kingdom of the Lord is at hand. Amen. It's at hand. Matthew 24. 42 to 43. Watch it's therefore, for he know not what hour your Lord do come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. You see, the Bible, the answer itself, it repeats the same thing that you're reading. It is saying to be alert. It's saying to be alert. It's like you're sleeping one eye closed and one eye open to see. You need to be alert. You need to stop thinking sin is your favorite thing to stay in. Sin is a graveyard. Your sins is a graveyard. My sin is a graveyard. It is a graveyard. Get out of that dead place. For know that the Lord is coming. He is coming. He's calling for you to be prepared. Be sure of this. <clears throat> be sure of this. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Yes. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. And everything that we desire and love and shake us on this earth would not matter when he arrives. Get rid of the things that you put before him. I don't care what it is. Children, husband, house, car, dog, cat, pig, goat, sheep, duck, when I know Trinidad and I did they did not even duck as they will eat the duck. But whatever you keep, make sure it's not before God. Luke 21, 36. Luke 21, watch, 36. Watch, watch ye therefore and pray always that he may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Thank Amen. you. Again, keep on alert at all times. We sleepwalking. We're not paying attention to what's happening. Are we the ball of gosh? You hear the man kill somebody up the road? Oh my gosh, you hear this person just die? We get excitement at the story at that moment. But we're not really being watchful spiritually to see it as a sign of time. We're more excited at the moment of what's happening and if the same thing happening and worse and we still shock like it never happened before and not realizing it, it, it the, the crime and the level of killing and the amount that's happening and the level and the murder and the, the level that it is and what is being exposed. It is not normal because Jesus is getting closer so dev, the devil is doing more yes. because you no, know, he wants to take you and I with him. So he wants us to fall into sin and stay in sin for when Jesus show up that we go with him. So be very careful that you may have strength to escape all these things. Pray that you may have strength to escape all these things. You have to stay prayed up. You have to stay prayed up. And I'm not talking the prayer only asking God to bless you with things. 
Amen. I am talking the prayer, the prayer of salvation, the prayer of giving you inner strength, the prayer to be a good disciple, the prayer to be a good servant, the prayer to stay in God, the prayer for strength, the prayer for deliverance. I'm not only talking about the bless me, bless me, bless me prayer. It is good Amen. for the season that we're in. We need to ask God for more than the bless me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All these things that are about to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Pray that you may have the strength to escape all these things that are about to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. You need strength. You need strength. The party not going to help you. The alcohol not going to help you. Mm -hmm. The drugs not going to help you. The pornography not going to help you. Your husband not going to help you. Your wife not going to help you. Your children not going to help you. You need the Holy Spirit and the power of God to strengthen you for the time that you're coming. That's on we in. And to stand before God, you need strength. That's why any time the power of God show up, everybody fall down. Every gun and gun and knees. Everything just radiant. There is Satan and all when you reach before God, he has to bow down. His presence is so glorious. That's why you need strength. Sin cannot stand before him. That's why you need the strength of God. Sin cannot stand before him. You need strength to stand before him. True. Amen. The time is near. Yeah. First Corinthians 16, 13. Watch, watch stand fast in the faith. Be brief. Be strong. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear. Be on the alert. You see how much time is the Bible telling you that? What alert means, there's an emergency. There's an emergency. You are in an emergency time. You are fortunate to be here to experience what you're experiencing, the end time. That you even hear. You're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. He said to stand firm in the faith. He didn't say stand firm in anything or anyone else. Stand firm, firm, firm in the faith. Faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things yet unseen. You don't see me yet. Amen. But the evidence is there. I'll be hoping. And the hope. But the evidence is there. Be prepared and stand firm in your faith. Ach! Like men, be strong. Be strong. People are falling apart. Everything happened, you're falling apart. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hmm. All the little things that you're facing now is just really a trial. Hmm. You ain't seen nothing yet. You're crying about baby, this, that bills that's small problems the evils that are awaiting the earth because satan and his minions are planning to release a new leech upon this earth blood suckers that's how i use leech mm. they are preparing as we speak and the, and i keep praying and i keep saying i scatter that meeting i keep scattering the meetings all the network i keep scattering it because they are planning as you speak and you're comfortable and then they're going to show up again because Satan is a plotter and Satan is very patient. Satan will stand at your door for 10 years waiting for you to just make a mistake. Right. Satan okay. has patience. Oh, patience. Satan has patience. He just, if you say I'm in God and Satan will be like, yeah, you're in God. Okay, no problem. I would wait right here because I know what you like and I will send it to you and I'll wait for the next 20 years to see that thing make you feel and end up failing God and failing yourself. I would wait. Satan would sit at the door with a stool and smoke cigarettes and stay drunk and eat and do everything by your door until you fall. Satan have patience waiting for you to fall. But the Lord will give you strength. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. The Lord shall be praised. This message is needed. First Thessalonians 5, 6. We have two more scriptures after this. First Thessalonians 5, 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. 
First Thessalonians 5, 6. Amen. So let us not sleep. The Lord is saying to wake up. You're sleeping. You're sleeping. You are sleeping. You are sleeping. You don't want to let go anything that you're carrying. Why are you so mad that since you're a baby daddy that you're so vexed with him and your children are 50 years old? What are you hanging on to still? Why are mm. you so mad that yes, my that person abused me, my uncle, my father, my auntie abused me and they're dead in a grave, but you're still bitter with a dead person. Why are you still mad? Does it worth it? Does it worth your soul? Does it worth your salvation? Does it worth heaven? Does it, the, the price is good, is good to pay for lacking Jesus in your life? Is it worth it? Why are you so angry still at people that is not even thinking about you? I pray that the Lord give people strength and wake up from their sleep, alert and to be sober. Sober in your spirit. Stop drinking yourself to drunkenness. Stop drinking yourself to drunkenness. And those that are experimenting with drugs, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I smoke a little weed sometime. Oh, I try cocaine already. Nobody know because I'm a functional addict. You need to be sober. Because if you're not sober physically, your soul is not going to be sober. You need to be sober. Romans 13, 11. Amen. And the knowing and the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Do you know? He's asked a question. Do this, knowing the time. That is already the hour for you awake from sleep. You need to awake from your sleep. Please for now, wait. salvation is nearer to us than mm, believe. Mm. We believe. You don't mm. have time. You don't control time. You're not God. He's saying to you, the hour, already the hour for you, awake from sleep. You're spiritually dead and you hear the word. And you're spiritually dead and you hear the word. The Lord is saying to rise up from your sleep. You are a zombie walking around. You literally are a zombie. You, you are walking corpse. You are living dead because you're shell walking around because your spirit is dead. Because Satan has consumed you so much because you open yourself to him and because of sin that Satan is inside of you, giving you all the frustration and the depression and you refuse to leave the darkness for the light. So you're walking dead. You are a zombie. You are rotting inside and it's smelling and festering with sin, but you refuse to let go of your bad behavior. You want to live in abuse. You want to live and be nasty because you want to be how you want to be. But the Lord is warning you. He said to be awake. He said, get out of your sleep. He said to stand firm. He said to be faithful and be strong in me for I am coming and there shall be no more grace when I have arrived all grace over all mercy over when Jesus arrives just learn that Amen. no more grace and mercy shall follow me all the days of your life that's Amen. what you're waiting for the days of your life just ended hmm. it's done 1 Peter 4 7 1 Peter 4 7 but the end of all things is at hand be therefore sober and which unto prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear. The end of all things is near. Therefore, all things, not some things, 
So when you're tired of the, the God, you're tired of prayer, you're tired of the prayer line, you're tired of the shadow, you're tired of the Wendy, you're tired of Tandy, you're tired of Shinneth, you're tired and tired, you're tired. You're tired of this life. You're tired of every single step did the air not mission. The mm -hmm. end of all the things that you're worried about is near. Therefore, be of sound judgment. Make good judgment in this time in your life. I want you. Don't say I don't want you. I'm not going to hell for none of you. I'm warning you. Make good judgment in your life. Stop messing up. That's what they say in the short term. Stop messing up. Stop thinking that you could do as you want. Your body don't belongs to you. Life don't belongs to you. The breath you carry don't belongs to you. Stop messing up. Stop being all, ra all ratchet and, 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 and anyhow. And ratchety and, and, and behaving all like a, like a rebel on the streets. Stop mm. just cussing up and carrying on and just carrying on. It is not right. You're wasting your life. For the spirit, for the, the sober spirit, for the purpose of prayer. Have your spirit sober and be prayerful. You, a drunk person not even have time to stand straight. They won't have time to pray straight. Mm. So stop being drunk with nonsense. That is what I'm telling you. Father, I bless your word. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, I thank you. Lord, this word is an on-time word for your people. So... Father, I pray that they receive it and they stop going back in places they do not belong. Stop living anyhow and abusing the bodies. The Lord keeps showing me that he said people are abusing their bodies. You're abusing your body. He said, your body is my temple. Why are you hurting me? Why are you hurting me? Don't you know that is my spirit that lives in you, that you are hurting me? For those that are living anyhow and you want that person, be married, get married. You're not too young. You are not too young for the time is now. Father, give them the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding and reveal yourself in a new way unto them. Father, that they have a repentant heart. Oh God, when they have sinned against you, and walk away from the sins of the past. Father, I thank you and I bless you for everyone on this line. I thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a round of applause. Amen. 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 amen.